Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Kevin with survivalistsports.com. While talking to a buddy of mine today on the phone, we were talking about our projects. I've got my chicken coop project and he's working on a raising fish in a barrel and a aquaponics project. And we're talking about long-term food storage and how we could store food for the long term. Talking about canning, pressure cooking, pressure canning, need for jars, need for replacement lid, uh, lids, having to stockpile jars. So I said, well, you know, you know, you know I, I'm thinking about building a, trying a project with a dehydrator, a solar dehydrator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a frame with some 1x4 and chicken wire, leftover chicken wire. Well, yeah, really it's going to be hardware cloth to go over that and then wrap it with some with some clear plastic and right now i'm just taking a measurement seeing what the base temperature is after about 15 minutes of being out here in the sun on top of that rack it's about like i said about 128 degrees this is just a meat temperature temperature probe and then this is a grill off of a grill a replacement grill for for a barbecue pit that i'm not using that uh, i found this somewhere and or my uncle sent it to me anyway I came across it somehow so I'm thinking well why can't I just cut some fruit up put it on here put it out in the Sun for six or eight hours cover it with the plastic and see if I could dehydrate it for those of you that have not been keeping up with the YouTube channel or the blog or the forum it took about two months and built a chicken coop we've got 13 chickens in here I've got the tarp over it just to keep the Sun off of them there's a water container down here on this end. See if we can ease around here without scaring them. There they are. Got this blue tarp over them just to keep the sun off of it off this off of this end, where they can stay underneath the coop. The goal, the goal is is to have fresh eggs from the chickens, and then be able to dehydrate the fruits or vegetables that we grow using something like solar energy. Here's the frame that I built. My wife and I talked about it and we agreed that for it to be as realistic as possible, we need to use the materials that we just have around the house. Nothing extra. I had some this hardware cloth from building the chicken coop. Had these staples left over from building the chicken coop. Some of the tin off the roof of the chicken coop. A piece of plywood left over from the chicken coop. I'm making a video. What are you doing? Because I'm going to see if I can dry out some fruit. Fruit? Yeah, fruit. Tomorrow morning. For the chickens? No, for me. Here's our fruit dish. We've got squash, strawberries, pineapple, not pineapple, cantaloupe. Tried to simulate stuff that we might be able to find naturally in this area. Besides maybe the apples. Let's say that somebody's got a peach orchard. I bartered some eggs for some peaches. Now we've got to preserve the peaches. Or I bartered some eggs or for some strawberries. So now I've got to preserve the strawberries. We've got our top of the grill, piece of tin, and the arch that we're going to be playing the plastic over. The time is 9.45 a.m. I just put the plastic on. Just hold using two by fours and closed pins to hold the plastic down. Got a thermometer in there. I don't know if y'all can see the temperature, if the camera's gonna focus on the temperature or not. Just trying to use stuff that we can find around the house to build this. Got the chicken wire hardware cloth up here. And it did not take the flies long to find the plate. And they're already down there eating on the sugars, I guess, on the plate where the fruit was. It didn't take them long. I'm going to check on this about every 30 minutes or so and see how things look. We're about 30 minutes into the project and you'll have to take my word for it. The temperature is about 130 three degrees about 135 degrees in 30 minutes and it is about 10 30 in the morning outside temperature what about 80 something 
but I'll do a, I'll, I'll note the temperature next time I come out. It's around high noon. The moisture is forming like a film on the plastic. And it's dripping down, it's coming, it's rolling off. That's why I wanted this to be an arch. So the moisture would come up and then roll down. Sorry about the wind. Roll down, you see the streaks of the moisture coming down. Let's see if we can figure out how hot it is. All right, we're about 150 degrees. Pasteurization level. Uh, more like cooking level. 145, 148, somewhere in there. They've been on for about, what, two hours, 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna let this project run for about five and a half, six hours. See how it goes. The food was on here for about, how a fly got in there, I don't know. For about six, seven hours. Reached a temperature of about 160 degrees, 150 degrees or so. And as you can see, come on down here close with the camera. The strawberries are still gooey. That's not going to cut it. There's still moisture inside of them. Same thing with the apples. They're still spongy top. What are these? This is squash. Squash doesn't have very much moisture in it anyway. It's still got moisture in it, even in the squash. All right, I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, my first experiment on using a solar dehydrator. You just have to try it again, see how it works out.